we just drove up onto this knob where we can, I mean, you can see for miles and miles. You can see across most of this ranch from right here, which is incredible. We've got like a little river system that runs through it. Mike's way down there on that end. We spotted some does right here close. Most of the deer should be popping up, getting on their beds now. One on the right is a 4x3. Okay. The one on the left is a 3x3, looks like. Tyler actually spotted him first. He's over there being unsocial, but he spotted a couple bucks and then four more came around the corner. And uh, one of them's a shooter for sure. Pretty nice deer. Shooter in my book. Awesome first night of scouting. There they are, Joel. They're on that hill. Yeah, that's them. They're all bucks. Okay. Ah, uh, you think we can move closer? That next knob? I don't think it's too close. We got, this, we got the sun in their face. Didn't take long. The sun's starting to rise and we found the two bucks that we ended up seeing at last light down there on this flat and the other six that we spotted. But they're all heading up into this hill right here. Lots of little cuts and stuff for them to bed in. So I'm sure that's where they'll bed. These two big ones that are down here on this flat, I'm not really sure where they're gonna bed yet, but I'm not gonna stalk them right this minute. Man, it's incredible, it's so vast out here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> we just came walking in here because we knew those bucks were in here. I never saw the second one. I don't even know where he's at. And uh, we've been in here for probably an hour, creeping around, trying to find him, figuring out the terrain. I mean, it's opening day. Had no idea what it was like in here or anything like that. And when we get in here, I'm finding all these different little holes. Like there's a hole right here, a hole here. Just checked all that. We were making lots of racket. I'd given up on this little hillside right here. So we started walking and I, I heard something. I turned around and he jumped, he bounded out of there and stopped at 53 yards. We, sat, we all sat down real quick, ranged him, let me draw on him and everything. And I drilled him. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's blood. Oh, here it is. Here's the hero. Smashed in the ground. Holy smokes, man. This is, this is crazy. I, I didn't think this was going to happen this morning, especially how open and how much cover they actually have with this sage out here. I did not think that we'd get anywhere remotely close to this deer. I have so much respect for him living in this terrain. And it's not, not steep or anything, but like, there's just, I don't know what kind of food they eat other than just browse. They're sage and they have so much cover that it's, it's unreal. I didn't, I didn't expect this going into this. It's pretty crazy. It's definitely an old buck. Super heavy. Man. Hey, you give, you give us a ride back to my truck? I can give you guys a ride. <laughs> we didn't really shoot one. Oh, you're kidding. No, we didn't. You really didn't? Yeah, we did. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, come on. That's some sort of sick joke. <laughs> yeah. 
Having everyone there for the recovery is really what makes the moment. Sharing the story with the rest of the guys and the overall experience is why we love these type of group hunts. Having a few extra hands on deck to pack out the meat was definitely a bonus as well. Hunting out west, you can never seem to have enough hands on deck. With Sean finding success early in the hunt, we were at a huge advantage when it came time for me to try and fill my tag. <laughs>